This is a brief instruction on how to use and maintain the extended line telescopic ladder. Now this ladder is only recommended for inspection use only and not for working from. The reason behind this is that the styles and the frames are prone to greater bending than there would be on a conventional ladder. This ladder is compact and easy to carry using the padded hand support. This ladder weighs around 12 kilos but be aware because it's compacted the weight might seem greater than it would do with a conventional ladder a larger ladder of a similar weight. Before using this ladder, it's important to remember your working height training that you'll have previously undertaken. Okay? So first of all, make sure the environment's clear and you've got a safe space to work. When you're working on the ladder, make sure you maintain three points of contact with both feet on the same rung and one hand on the ladder. Make sure the ladder has a 1 in 4 or 75 degree lean ratio up to the wall. Make sure the ladder has a stable base and make sure when you're using the ladder that you're not overreaching. An important safety feature of this ladder is the indicator system. As you can see, the indicator on the rung is red. When the ladder's opened, the indicator turns green. When it's green, it's locked in position. You shouldn't use the ladder unless the indicator is displaying green as it's likely to collapse and it won't be locked into position. The release latch. This latch is designed to be used whilst holding the sides of the ladder, reducing the risk of trapping injuries. We're now going to extend the ladder. The first thing we do is remove the securing strap and at the base of the ladder we extend the stabiliser bars which pull out the bottom. This provides a more stable base for the ladder once it's in position. Then placing your foot on the bottom stabiliser bar, you smoothly extend the ladder. You can hear it clicking into position. And as it's clicking into position, you can check if the indicator windows turn from red to green. This will ensure the ladder's locked in position. If any windows remain red, the ladder will not have locked into position and it could possibly collapse whilst you're working on it. So please ensure that it turns to green before you use the ladder. Once the ladder's extended and you've ensured it's firmly locked into position, you can then climb the ladder. Please take note of the warning label on the third one down from the top, telling you not to stand or work above that label. Now we're going to take the ladder down. So we need to release the catches, keeping our hands free from the, the treads on the ladder, slowly bring the ladder down. Reattach the securing strap and then push the stabilizers. With this ladder you must ensure that the styles stay clean and free from debris. Uh, any debris going down the styles into the couplers could affect the operation of the ladder. To maintain the ladder, to keep it free moving, you should use silicone spray. Just spray it on and wipe off. Don't be tempted to use any unrecommended oils or sprays as it could affect the operation of the ladder. All of the information that's been in this film is within this instruction manual. Please ensure that you keep it in a safe place and refer to it when needed.